I guess. So this is a cute little game called Station to Station. Um, it's already come out and SteamDB takes ages to show like the engine information. I kind of just assumed this was Unity but I had a look back um, and uh, saw that it was Unreal so I thought I'd pick it up. Looks pretty cool. Um, this <laughs> had some weirdness so um, I noticed like the very high um, effect settings it kind of looks like a kind of zoom in type type of thing or kind of uh, global illumination um, it was really kind of like broken um, but and also kind of changing resolution as well I seemed to break it even after I got it to, to work um, so even with it high um, actually turning the SSGI um, box on and off like fixed it <laughs> So you, I, I clicked it and it was good back to looking good. Um, so it was fine actually. Like once I'd done that and we figured it out, like if you change any settings like resolution, it will break again. Like the, the that high level effect. Um, so you just go in and uh, click the SSGI because I was like, oh wow, this looks great. Um, and I don't think you can see it because it's in my left eye. I think um, it's like a flashing. Um, oh, I think yeah, you can kind of see it there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which isn't good um, and I tried like my my first thing would be like, I'll just put it on synced, I think sequential um, and that didn't really seem to fix it but um, keeping it on native um, I'll play native for the rest of this video um, yeah, you can just turn the SSGI on and off, it seems to fix it you see I, I just <laughs> miss it I'm like, oh, turn off the motion blur turn off the depth of field um, actually I, I didn't experiment having that on sometimes the depth of field can be quite cool um be careful where you move your head. Um, this is one game that I think um, I'm going to have to try with mixed reality. Uh, There's a little train set. Um, the only thing is the world scale is a bit off. Like the values you can set for world scale are, are like relatively kind of set. You can't go really, 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 really big or really, really, really small. It's kind of like a um, pretty defined smallness and highness. And some games can have, uh, especially when you change the when you're doing like a manual adjustment of the camera it like hardly moves you because I, I assume the like objects scale is really huge um, in the engine they haven't like been rescaled <laughs> to like a normal level like most games it's fine you can move quite a while like this one I changed the world scale and didn't really do, <laughs> didn't do anything um, and like moving the camera with the camera just doesn't really do anything because it's just so huge the scale of the objects that they've set as in the game um, I don't, I don't know if there, there's no way in game to change the color of the background, but that would be interesting with a, like a reshade to kind of go in and add a chroma key on that to really help, um, mixed reality. Um, otherwise the game is just like a cute little voxel kind of, um, train game and you, <laughs> you put stations down and you, you make train tracks and you go from place to place. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna speed up a second and uh, just go to the gameplay. Um, I, you you were seeing the I, I figured the um, problem out. Um, but yeah, it's really really nice. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try it with mixed reality because um, I'm just playing linked with this. It's like my default for PC VR. Um, yeah, pretty chill game. And I know there's a lot of train fans <laughs> amongst my audience. Always ask me to play Train Sim World, Train Sim World 4. Um, oh yeah, you can see, you can see that. <laughs> Just there. It's, um, it's fixed. And that's fine. And it's great. It looks really good. And as you place uh, train tracks down, like the, the land becomes more green and lush. Um, so if I can replace the background with a kind of chroma key like pink that would be pretty good to get a good mixed reality or like specifically target that light grey although I think it's going to overlap with a bunch of stuff um, but yeah enjoy um, 20 minute video of just playing with a tiny train set um, in VR it, f it feels great in VR as well like look at when you zoomed out it just looks like a tabletop um, actually you could kind of uh, I guess that is kind of small then so then you can come down um, and I think for mixed reality, these kind of like grid games where like the world is just like a specific area. <laughs> it's great. 